All right, let me run over here and make this video because um, I was not expecting this one to pop up, but you got to love the uh, Division Gods. So here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. You know the deal. Let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? Now, I'm telling you to farm the Dark Zone today, all right? Farm the Dark Zone today. The reason being is targeted loot. So we have chess piece in the right. Bottom is hardwired. We don't care about that. We want Murakami. Now, this is in Dark Zone West. So right now, farm Dark Zone West for Murakami Industries. More importantly, you want these knee pads. These are the Emperor's Guard knee pads, okay? Now these knee pads are more likely to drop in the Dark Zone than any other place in the game. Reason being is they are PVP exclusive items, and I do that with, you know, quotations. Because all named items are available through the named item cache. So nothing is really PvP exclusive uh, when it comes to that. I mean, you still have, you know, your system corruption and y'all gear, but you can craft both of those. And system corruption was in a previous season, so you can get that through, you know, season legacy caches. So, I mean, when it really comes down to it, the only thing is y'all gear, but even then, you can get uh, blueprints for three out of the six y'all gear pieces. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But regardless, we're getting off topic here. It's all about the Emperor's Guard knee pads. Now, you can get this in the Dark Zone, Conflict, or a named item cache. So that's why I'm saying farm the Dark Zone right now for these exact knee pads. You want double armor region. So it comes with the 1% armor region as an attribute. That's the named, you know, part of this. Now, the other attribute is what's the most important thing is to get it to drop with the armor per second with that 1% armor region. That way you can recalibrate that core attribute to an armor core, and then you can have fun. Now there are other ways of running it. Uh, obviously you could do armor region with headshot damage, you could do armor region with crit hit damage, crit hit chance, um, or you know say hazard protection. Any of these options are really good, and that's why I'm saying farm this now, because these knee pads are vital in uh, a lot of the builds that I make personally. Now, I tend to go for like a running gun play style, whether it be in PvE or PvP. So having armor region really does benefit me, especially if like, say I'm clearing a room and I, you know, I'm at, you know, near death and I know that there's only like three enemies left. I would rather run around in a circle with my head cut off, get my armor back from armor region, than I would wasting an armor kit. You know what I'm saying? Especially in like things like PvP and even like heroic or legendary PvE, your armor kits are vital. So armor region is your best friend for survivability. Now, um, my top what my top five picks for uh, these knee pads would be with armor region, crit chance, crit damage, headshot, or hazard protection. So farm these right now, Dark Zone West. Now, uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the next one. I mean, I have a few that I was wanting to uh, release today. But then uh, I started doing my exotic component farm. And out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, wait, Murakami. Yo, the Emperor's Guard. Yes. Because I know there's a lot of you out there that comment and say, you know, what if I don't have those knee pads? Because I do a lot of Armor Region build videos. I mean, rightfully so. Armor Region is really strong in this game. So having these knee pads are vital. So if you don't have the right ones that you want personally, or say you have ones with like, you know, some dumb attribute like uh, explosive resistance or something, um, now is the time. So if you can, even if it's for a little bit and you can, you know, try to farm a few landmarks, definitely do it today. DZ West. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video with me farming a little bit of DZ West, doing a little bit of PVE, a little bit of PVP. Um, it's not too long, uh, you know, a few minutes, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to, uh, work on my other videos from the PTS 
and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know what you think about the Emperor's Guard knee pads in the comment section below. With all that said and done, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, now roll that footage. Heavily armed hostiles guarding location nearby. Access complete.
Agent has gone for 